on. Catch. Oh, shucks. You made me spill my drink. You know, sometimes I think about how useful it would be to be right-handed and left-handed. It would be like having two separate brains. I can multitask with everything. I know a few people that come as close as possible to having two separate brains. Really? How do you know these people? Well, it's not really a short story, but I know them from work. That sounds really interesting. Maybe you can tell me that story if you have the time. Well, I moved to California in 1954 where I taught as a professor of psychobiology at the California Institute of Technology. My goal was to study consciousness in the separate brain hemisphere as humans. You can imagine we had to find some very unique patients willing to take part in such an experiment. One of the most famous patients was W.J., a World War II veteran with severe epilepsy. He agreed to have the split brain surgery that cuts the corpus callosum in order to stop the seizure activity from spreading across the entire brain. Before he went into surgery, I did a series of neuropsychological tests on WJ at Caltech. His cognitive functioning was normal prior to surgery. This surgery of WJ was very groundbreaking. By cutting the corpus callosum of WJ, he had two totally separate halves of the brain. The left and right hemispheres could not communicate and actually divide the human consciousness. So you see, W.J. was as close to having two brains as one could. Wow, I actually feel like the lucky one. I think I'll keep my corpus closer together. <laughs> Thanks anyway.